Wanyaga Waniki. I am the co-director for Chama Champions. We started Chama Champions in 2021, that is when we officially registered Chama Champions. But way back in 2016 is when I started my first Chama, which is doing very well. We are based in Nairobi, our headquarters is in Nairobi, but we have a great online presence. And what we do basically at Chama Champions is mentor Chamas to achieve their maximum potential. And this means that we reach out to Chamas, know what they are doing in terms of financial saving, financial empowerment, in terms of uh, investments, uh, partner with them and talk to them about partners that are out there that can help them grow their Chama, uh, help them walk the journey of investment, help them access credit. And basically one of the things we have done is trying to talk to people to save as little as they can so they can grow as a Chama. And this is fueled. What makes me feel that it is good to do this and the passion for Chama Champions is basically because of the desire to see the world, people being able to save and starting little. I believe that it is just by putting a block, a block each and every day that you are able to grow and build an empire. And that is what uh, basically we do in Chama Champions, encouraging people to start small, but with a focus to growth. And these are seen so many um, people being beneficiaries of this. Uh, in the online process, we are influencing about 11,000 members right now. The Chamas that we run directly are about four Chamas with about 120 members. And these Chamas, we started all of them at the notion or the initiative of starting saving 70 Kenya shillings per day. And today we have grown from that to about 11 million as we talk today. And uh, these numbers from 120 people are now extending to about 11,000 people who we talk to online when we have online meetings, when we have Zoom meetings, when we are bringing partners on board, when we are talking to them on, in their different chambers, visiting them either physically and also talking to them virtually. It is what has made us feel as Chama champions that it is the small things that we start and we have seen them grow into big empires. The most inspiring successful story for Chama Champions is when we started basically in 2016, we started at uh, the thought of let's start saving 70 shillings per day. And the story was that was inspired by how much lunch do, do I really take? And I asked myself, if I'm taking like 100 Kenya shillings per day, what if I saved 70 shillings per day? And I remember when we started the first Chama, we were three and then we reached out to seven more. And we, we were we are 10 in that chama, which started in 2016. We have grown that chama from 70 shillings per day, working with uh, partners that have walked the journey with us. And we are now worth about seven mil, 6 million with having bought a property that members are very happy about. It's Chama that is loaning up to half a million. Uh, members are able to access credit. Members are able to pay and they are investing into the money market of funds. A Chama that has seen most of the members there feel very motivated to continue saving. And this then brought about uh, the other Chamas whereby many members wanted to join this, this, uh, new, this Chama. Then we opened another one. And this other one also, the same strategy, people saving 70 shillings per day and cumulatively impacting about 120 members right now. A charm, charmers that have grown from uh, 70 shillings in 2016, at the second one in 2021, also the, the notion of bringing people together. Uh, 2021, we did another one, uh, the third one. In 2022, we also did another one comprising of about 67 members and each charm right now running into their millions and cumulatively uh, getting uh, a total of about 11 million. Last year, each member was able to get dividends from the charm they, they belong to. And those that are in the four charmers now, able to access about 23,000 in terms of dividends, which was a very good thing for, for members. Uh, and the most important thing is that they are able to save when they look at their savings, when they look at the projection that they have, the meetings we have uh, monthly and uh, quarterly with them, the projections they have to be able to build uh, an empire, to be able to build themselves and feel uh, financially empowered. 
we have had challenges. Oh yes, it's not been easy uh, building the empire to what it is today. And I remember some of the challenges is obviously uh, registering these charmers. Uh, we are grateful to the partners and the government of Kenya that worked with us, the people, the, uh, the social services department in terms of registration. Uh, sometimes uh, we have members across the globe and part of the thing that we have experienced in those chambers is that uh, not being able to bring the members outside the country for physical meetings. But uh, growing beyond that is that uh, we are to adapt and that is why we have adopted to virtual using technology, digital, we are in the digital era and we have, uh, we have adapted to making sure that uh, we are incorporating even the members that are outside the globe. And going to Chama Champions now, and what Chama Champions does is mentoring Chamas across the globe. We have Chamas in the USA that we mentor, Chamas in the, in outside the world in Dubai. We have, Chama, we have many Chamas across the world that have reached out to us so that we may talk to them, that we may share with them what they need to do in terms of registration, that we may talk to them about investing in, in, in Kenya, uh, that we may talk to them about money market funds, that we may talk to them. And most of the time we have walked this journey with partners to be able to navigate the challenges that have been there. Uh, we have gone ahead to impact the community. We Every end of the year, for example, we do CSR, and CSR means for Chama Champions, we will mentor a Chama or three Chamas. Last year, we did three Chamas for free, uh, or rather for just being there with them, to walk the journey with them. We have uh, uh, kids in school that we are educating as part of CSR and as part of uh, doing, trying to give back to the community so as to see a world, a better world. A world where human inclusivity and the feeling of togetherness is part of what guides Ichama champions. Uh, thank you.